Both and welcome to my guide on espionage. So personally for me, espionage is one of the coolest features of this game. You can find out inf enemy information based on the spy report that you get. So to do that, you would need to go to the espionage tab. Now a panel popped up and it's called espionage headquarters. Here it will show you how many spies that you have total and the total cost per day and the individual cost for them per day. Here we'll show you any report that you might have collected from your spies and these reports will show you any, it will show you an assortment of different information such as political relation, the resources that they might have, any stock market orders, anything that they might have bought or sold on the stock market, any type of spy that they might have inside their country. It will also show you any messages or trade that they might have sent and any buildings that they have inside their country. Now, it doesn't always show you everything. Now, if let's say that you have one spy inside the country, it might show you just their relations or one day it might show you what building they have. It all it all depends on what how many spies that you might have inside that country. And it's pretty random at times of what exactly you might get. So this is the image for intelligence spy. This is economic sabotage spy. This is military sabotage spy. And this is counter espionage spy. In order to set up spies inside a kingdom, you would need to cook any province that you would like to set a spy in. So if I wanted to set a spy in Portugal, I would cook on a province. This will show you the province name, the kingdom, any known province details. Now here are some actions that you can do that would cost a ducat. So this is reveal armies. This would reveal the armies currently stationed in this province. This will show you country information. It will show you a full spy report of this kingdom. This will decrease morale inside a single province. This would destroy a portion of the resource of this province. This would destroy some morale inside building. This will reveal all armies inside the world from this kingdom. So this will show you the time left until the next action. And that is basically day change. So that will be the next time that you get report or any kind of action. It's always at day change. So this is just showing you how many hours or minutes is left until day change. Now, let's say I wanted to sign an intelligence spy. I can click on the plus button to assign a spy here, or I can click the minus button. Now, spy basically does what reveal army is and reveal country information does. Each spy will give you a random report, such as enemies, messages, and trade. Like I said before, it's pretty random. That all depends on how many spies that you have inside the province. Economic sabotage will damage a portion of the resources. It might also give you a spy report. Military sabotage, it damages morale inside that province and any infrastructure. It can also give you a spy report as well, but I recommend using an intelligence spy if you want spy report. Now let's say that you want to protect your kingdom from any spies. You would have to set a counter espionage spy inside your kingdom. Now click on a province of yours that you think would be a threat for spies. And you could just hire one. So I have an idle spy at the moment. I'm going to go assign it to this province. Now I have a counter espionage set inside the province of Birmingham. So if any enemies put a spy in Birmingham it will be able to kill spies that are there. Now again, nothing happens until day change. Make sure that you have your spies assigned before day change occurs so action can happen. And the same goes with any spies that you want to dismiss. Now that concludes my tutorial on espionage. I hope this answers some questions that you might have. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below. 
feel free to like this video and subscribe if you want more. And thank you guys for watching.